an R. Mikalski game. Who is a goddamn genius by the way? God, I love these games. Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Ivy? She looks kinda drugged, doesn't she? And. Again, fucking prediction time. We saw that this is Quiet Haven Hotel and I think there was a Quiet Haven Hotel sign in the basement of the apartment building in Cat Lady. It must have been brought there by... by Joe. So this game probably isn't Quiet Haven Hotel. His fucking imagination, reality, marvel, whatever the fuck that was, was also in Quiet Haven Hotel. And this... Now it's quite heaven hotel, but but how do they play together? What the fuck is wrong with Joe anyway? Come on, darling, don't do this to me. Oh, so you're still not talking to me. Come on, darling. Don't do this to me. I understand you've been stressed. So have I, but but it's time to let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. So please, don't give me this silent treatment. We can start again here. We will start Why again. would you need to start again? What the fuck happened between you? Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people or what have I done? Let's ask what we have done because I don't know certainly. I mean Joe might know and this will be a dumb question coming from Joe but I don't know. What have I done? We were driving and then you went to sleep for a while. Oh did I touch her? Really? What the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people, or I give up, let's book us in. Can we at least try? not to make a scene in front of people. I don't want to look like an idiot again, especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say nothing if you Say agree with me. Fucking nothing. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Whatever I did. I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. Okay, when I said that I was hoping that this game wasn't as depressing as the cat lady. I mean, I knew what I was getting myself into, but this already is making me pretty... I don't know. I said it's the wrong word, but it's a real downer, isn't it? I give up. Let's book us in. There's got to be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? Yeah, thunder, I guess. 
is gonna be huge. Where are you going? Hey, little lady. Where are you fucking going? Oh, she wants to go up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at ourselves. We look pretty buff. I guess I could strangle her. Let's examine this, <laughs> this picture. We're the black hat ones. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. W w wait, what will she never know? Did you kill it? Is this what she will never know? Man, playing games like these and then trying to be funny and at the same time serious about this is really hard, but... With... With, with something like this, I mean... <sighs> Read plaque. It reads, Teacup, the key master? Fucking teacup? The key master? He stole my keys. Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Take a free gift. These are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Ivy? Ivy, yeah. Where are you going? New item added. Cat magnet. Let's examine. It's a fridge magnet advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. Black cat seems to be a theme here. Examine? Nobody here. It's hardly surprising this time of the night. Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> this picture at the top really fucking creeps me out. I don't know what's wrong with it. The smile of the left dude is just so uncanny. There's nothing unusual about it. I don't know who I could call. Let's call Susan. She would know what to do in this situation. Better yet, since this is in the past, let's call Mitzi. She should be still alive. Lift. Use? Great, the lift seems to be out of order. So before we go upstairs, let's look after Ivy. I mean, she seems to look pretty okay, but also out of it, kinda. I don't know what the fuck happened to the cute, quiet little girl. She turned into an emo or something? Devil came through here. I know that sentence. I certainly do know that sentence. It was... It was in this fucking dream sequence we did with Susan. Hey, you got your voice back. <laughs> it's better not, not to be sarcastic in this situation, I think. Not even rats would come through a place like this. What? What? What is that even supposed to mean? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. So she as well was fucking crazy? And maybe that's why they smashed so many mirrors in their apartment and maybe that's why she looked into these mirrors. In... In the hotel sequence. In the cat lady. Man, there's so much to speculate speculate about right now. I, I love this. I love playing sequels to games that are not necessarily sequels but just tie-ins? Just references? I knew you'd ruin it. You always ruin everything! Let's not be a abusive husband, okay? What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? What the fuck is wrong with your hand? No, I can't. Yeah, sure. No, I actually can't. Besides, there's no mirror here. No. I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Get away from him! I... have gone now. 
Who's gone? I don't understand. Um. Kiss me. The big fat flesh eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouth. They are always hungry. Okay, and don't kiss me anymore. Bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Get away from me. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. You're acting like a fucking psycho! Um, although she do is acting like a fucking psycho, it's probably better we don't tell her that. But Joe is, is, is pretty calm about this. I mean, if my girlfriend would start freaking out like that, you know, speaking in different voices and talking about things in mirrors, I would probably just leave. <laughs> Even though I love her. But this is weird. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. Yes. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Okay. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. Man, this is fucking Umineko all over again, isn't it? There's a storm coming. And suddenly people people kill themselves and kill others and who is the culprit? I don't know. Are there 18 or 19 person on, in this hotel? Is anyone here a witch? <laughs> Please tell me. Who will get the inheritance? What else? Um I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, you losing your goddamn mind for one. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep, and I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Joe, I think you've lost your way with words. You know, as a, as a kid, you were such a fucking smooth talker. Holy shit, you could have calmed her in no time. But this, this was pathetic. We'll be fine, don't worry. Kitchen door, let's enter. It's locked. Locked. Jam. Won't budge. Hello. Oh shit. May I help you? Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm Joe. Who are you? <laughs> we have a little problem. My wife. She is mental. We'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. Are you? We do have one room left. Do you? Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. <laughs> I wouldn't react with excuse me if someone had a mental breakdown in front of me <laughs> and accused me of having blood under my nails, but she's pretty professional, I think. I'm sorry, we've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Please ignore her. We'll take the room. <laughs> Let's apologize. And don't tell her to ignore our wife, because I guess she won't like that. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, alright. I understand. No, you do not. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. It's full of corpses. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Oh. Two singles. Is that okay with you? No, not really. I want to sleep with my wife. It's fine, I guess. Well, it does have its advantages, but I don't think Ivy will be happy about that. Or will she, maybe? I can't tell really. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with her. I think if I was in Joe's shoes right now, you know, and Ivy was my girlfriend and we arrived in this hotel in the middle of the night and she was slowly getting more and more crazy in a fucking um, shining way somehow, <laughs> I would probably prefer not to share a bed with her. <laughs> but let's say no, not really. No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. No. In a seaside town Tough like luck. This, I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. 
I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. How do you know my name? A big one. You'll be much safer in Quiet Haven tonight. How do you know Single my name? Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Well, we could also just, you know, push these beds together, but... Fuck me, I love it when games do acknowledge that someone called you by your name and you can ask them about this. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. I hope you don't mind. She did, she did. call me Joe. Most certainly. One single time. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. Wait, did she? Fuck, I can't remember anymore. Now, is she a liar or not? Since the only thing I can tell her is that it's fine, I guess we have to trust her. It's fine, I guess. Whoops, sorry. Excellent. Please if follow me. I'll give you the key. Please follow me. Ivy, is everything all right? Can I, can I, maybe, maybe just a little, just a little. Mwah. You'll be fine, honey. Just trust me. I'm not crazy right now. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You no. look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. They certainly did improve the animations. Downfall is a remake. At oh, least... and one more thing. Oh. Okay, let me let me finish my sentence. This game is a remake of a 2009 game. And I'm not sure which one came first, the Cat Lady or Downfall, but apparently it's the right order. If you play the Cat Lady first and Downfall afterwards, I checked. Because I would really regret it if the cat lady spoiled too much of this game. I mean, we know already that Joe is a fucking crazy psychopath who will kill his wife, or won't, in the future, but we could see as much already. Except for the Joe part, I think he seems pretty, pretty normal right now. So what is it, and can it really not wait until tomorrow? What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Why? Who is she? We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you... We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you mean. It's not my fault your walls are paper thin. But we're going straight to bed anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. I really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Well, opening and closing a door can be really noisy already. Ivy, we have to take the stairs. Do you hear me, honey? The lift is out of order. Follow me, please. Can I just put her? Please, come on. She's fucking drugged or something. Ivy, yes, go up. Man, you were really cuter when you were a kid, you know? Oh, an elephant. Nice, Joe. Really, really nice. Fuck me, I don't know what to say. The cellar door is locked. Let's go up. Okay, what the fuck is wrong with this? Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. Am I going the right way? Let's check the the sign again. Rooms 101 to 104 over there. Okay, let's go this way first. <laughs> let's explore before we do anything that could progress the game. And still it's auto-saving. Maybe I am going the right way. I mean, what is this? What the hell is this? Um... A mirror in the middle of the room and it looks scratched or something. 
It makes me feel like I'm being watched. Let's leave this fucking room again, Ivy. I'm sorry I've dragged you here. I just couldn't remember the directions anymore. This fucking bitch told me, you know, you know you do also think she's a fucking bitch, don't you, Ivy? Let's go to our room. And you know what? Let's knock on room 102. So apparently we're not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. The door's locked. How would you check without her waking up? I mean, you would have to really strongly pull on the door. Or do you just see it and say, yeah, it's locked. And what the fuck is this? This looks like police tape, doesn't it? Something must have happened in this fucking hotel. 101, it's our room. I should unlock it first. Okay, it's gonna look like the room we saw in the cat lady, I think. You know, with the shelf and... and stuff and... Oh no! Okay, it doesn't look anything like it. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. You must be going mental, I'm sorry to say, but I don't know what else there is to it. You said some really weird things, maybe you're just tired. I hope you had fun playing psycho bitch in front of that woman. <laughs> Man, you can be so fucking cruel to her. I have to replay this game afterwards just to pick these options. But for now I'm gonna stay. A calm and loving husband. You said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there, you know? But I'm okay now, am I? How else should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now as far as I know. I... I blacked out for a bit, I... I think... And I was dreaming. What? There was... There was a woman there in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in... Wires? Blood. Okay. This fits as well. This... She's describing what Joe will do to her in the future. Let's go to bed. I'm sure you'll feel better in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me, but you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet. Can you hear this? slightly different voice in the background when she's talking? This is weird. What do you mean? Please don't do this, not tonight. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? Life doesn't... Oh, uh, rather love doesn't need any reasons. I never get tired of talking to you. Nope, I crossed it off my list. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. I crossed it off my list. She hasn't smiled once. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. Probably. I miss you even after a couple of hours. Let's pick the smile one because... Yeah, that's cute actually. When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. It's the way you look when you sleep. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. The thing you do when you laugh. I love it. I can smell your perfume on the pillow long after you've gone. It's the way you look when you sleep. But most of all, I guess, I... 
We've been through so much together. I can be myself around you. You're just so fucking beautiful. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Can it be any other way? You like my smile? But I can't even remember the last time I, I knew I she smiled. would say this. The way I look when I sleep, really. I don't sleep. Curled up in the corner of the bed, dreaming nightmare after nightmare every single night. Now finally, you want to be with me forever. I know, I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put... Maybe I'd lost it. Oh. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. Wow. I mean, what the fuck? I know that the game probably had an answer for all of these things, but it just seems so cruel what she just said. Fine, I say it, we're finished, or oh, I still love you. Man, I feel bad for Joe. Fuck me, why is she so... Why is she so... cold towards him? I still love you. No. That's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. <laughs>